2022 is showing me that I should probably bring it down a peg. And let's talk about what I mean. So y'all know this hangs on the wall behind me. You've seen this plenty of times. This is my five year goal list um, that I keep vision board style up on the wall because y'all, if you can't look at them all the time, you're not gonna be thinking about them all the time. And I am obsessed. <laughs> Mostly because I hate my job and I hate being there every day. So it's like a fresh daily reminder that I'm trying to get F out. You know what I mean? So let's just recap the old version. Which, by the way, I know I need to frame the new version. Haven't got that far yet. Stay tuned. Whatever. I've just, I've, I've game planned it out on paper. So I'll, I'll zoom in on that in a second. But 2021, the big goals that we crushed 2021, by the way were $12,000 saved in an emergency fund, nailed it, and then lost it. The other goal was buy my first investment property. That's where my emergency fund went after I got to the, tw I was like for like a less than a week, I was at 12K <laughs> and I was like, ah, oh, give it all to the rental property. No problem, that's fine. That's why we had it, right? <laughs> and then also $30,000 to student loans. You guys, I crushed 2021. Love it. 2022. Well, I mean, you, you probably saw this week's Transfer Tuesday. You know, things aren't going so great <laughs> so far. You guys, I have a strong feeling that the second half of the year is going to turn around. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to get back on track and everything's going to be fine. So old version, 2022, positive net worth. Ooh. Pay 30000 to student loans and or save. Obviously, this was pre made pre-pandemic. Um, kind of on track for that. Buy a second rental property, my God. Um, and also start making money online. Um, or make 200 a month online. Yeah, I don't know about that one either. Yeah, I just took many kind of online money out of the, out of the game here. All five years. It, that was the one thing I didn't hit in 2021 is start making money online. And to be honest, I don't even know what that's going to look like. So we just, we took that off the table and that's cool. But either way, definitely not going to have a positive net worth in 2022. You guys see my monthly updates and my quarterly finance updates. I'm still like in the negative 75,000. And no matter how much money I keep fisting at my 401k, <laughs> the balance is still going right. So yeah, not gonna happen. And then 2023, I had paid 40,000 to student loans and or save, I don't know, we'll see what that looks like. 40K to student loans, buy a third rental property and make 500 a month online. Like what was I even thinking? Who in their right mind is saving 40K and buying a rental property? Girl is ambitious and same for 2024 i'd pay another or save another forty thousand student loans buy my fourth rental property and make a thousand a month online oh love the ambition and then 2025 pay forty five thousand dollars to student loan saving or student loans that would which would like that's debt free right there that between that's like the last penny the funnier thing is about 2025 buy my fifth and sixth rental properties Girl, what the hell? Make 2K a month online, sure. And quit working for someone else. Oh, uh, that's a yes. That one is staying, that one. That one made the cut, let's just put it that way. Let's zoom in on the new version. You guys, also, this is notebook version. I need to actually make the um, vision board version here sometime soon, so stay tuned, but that's it right there. Just getting the revamp. So basically I just stuck to the more important things, which was emergency fund, investment property, and student loans. Student loans is hands down the number one thing holding me at this job. Absolutely, hands down. So for 2021, my big goals were my emergency fund, first investment property, and 30K to loans. Nailed 2021, yes. 2022. Since the investment property required that full emergency fund, another 12K to emergency fund is back on the menu for 2022, which if you guys have been watching my Transfer Tuesdays, you know that that is 
something I've slowly been trickling money towards as well as my student loans. And speaking of student loans, another 30K to student loans is my goal for this year, 2022. Here's the new fun part. 5K, you probably already saw it, but $5,000 to a house hack. So what I think is going to really allow me to get away from this job is one, to be totally out from under student loans. Just be done with student loans. That is my last debt that I have other than the rental property mortgage. Um, and I think with being hopeful here, the rental property income, <laughs> once it gets itself straightened out, uh, that's going to help as well. But I think the best strategy for me and something I had always planned to do was to move from this job to somewhere where I actually want to live. I don't know exactly where that's going to be yet. I have some ideas, but I don't know. I've got a few more years to figure it out, which is just fine. But buy a house hack that will allow me to either drastically reduce or eliminate my biggest monthly expense once my student loans are gone. And that's housing, of course. That's most people's biggest expense in life. So my plan is to find a house hack that's either going to let me live for zero dollars or better yet even be profitable for me so if you guys don't know what a house hack is that is where you buy a house it can be any size house uh, you know duplex triplex quadplex a single family house and rent the bedrooms or you know duplex triplex quadplex you are living in one unit and renting out the others and as long as you stay of four units or under, you can use a residential mortgage, um, which of course opens you up to residential mortgage, mortgage rates and residential mortgage down payment options. So a lot of times that can be down as low as three and a half percent down. So that is my plan just because without this housing expense and without my student loans, my monthly expenses are very small and I live that way intentionally. I have a strong aversion to monthly payments. Um, so I have no car payment, no, nothing crazy. I only pay for Netflix as far as like entertainment shit, whatever. Like I just, I don't like having monthly bills. Like I came from a place of having way too many monthly bills back when I was incredibly broke and it just gives me the heebie-jeebies or something. I don't know, I just, I, I don't like, anyway, getting off track here, but um, the point was, if I can buy myself a house hack and have really minimal monthly expenses, it'll be so easy to walk away from this job. Um, I will be able to go find a different job that's actually aligned with my passion and actually doesn't feel like my soul is being eaten and darkened every day. <laughs> Ugh. And like to have housing payment just be super minimal, that would be epic. That would free me up financially so much. And so now I've shifted my game plan instead of thinking I was going to be able to buy a rental property or two every year, which is just cray cray. Um, I'm thinking $5,000 a month saved per year over the next four years, because now we're already a year into this um, five year game plan. Uh, $5,000 a year for four years is $20,000. I think that will, will be a decent... With the fireworks, dude. Oh my god, sorry. The neighbor is... I'm guessing shit-faced. I was watching him out the window. He's over there, like, dancing in his backyard in his cut-off t-shirt over there. Just having a good time. Scaring the shit out of my cats. It's really lovely. Um, where was I? Yeah. Four years, 5k, 20,000 down. I think that would be an amazing down payment. Um, or at least a solid down I don't know. God, who only knows what's going on with the real estate market, but I'm hoping maybe there's a correction between now and 2025 when I actually propose to leave this uh, house hack. But I think that's way more realistic and really 
gonna be the best strategy for me to get away from this job. So that, that's what I've added to each of the four subsequent years, including this year, maybe. So back to the yearly goals. For 2022, $12,000 back to my emergency fund or whatever I can get towards it. Um, 30,000 to student loans and 5,000 to a house hack. And then for 2023, next year, $40,000 to student loans, 5,000 again to the house hack, and also $2,000 to a travel fund. And I have added travel fund to 2023, 24, and 25. That's gonna be important in the next few years to keep my sanity through the rest of this process as well. Like, I have, in 2019 I went to Ireland, but other than that, I have not really been taking a lot of vacation and like time to travel and go do what I want. And that has been taking its toll on me. I'm a very angry person at work nowadays. It's a very negative, toxic work environment. And for me, I know I'm a highly sensitive person and I don't mean like I'm crying all the time. I mean like I just absorb negativity and everybody's toxic energy and it's really not good for me and it's really taking its toll on me so I'm prioritizing me it's the only way I'm going to make it through so I have added two thousand dollars in travel fund finally building that travel fund I know I've mentioned it many times over the last year that I've been making these videos that someday I want to start my travel fund and it's like I can't keep putting that off so I've already got travel scheduled paid for purchased for this year which will be in July when I go to Virginia and I'm flying my best friend up I'm so excited <sighs> I just need girl time I need time with her you guys I work in an industrial plant with mostly men all day long and all I hear is belching and loogies and it's just so 2023 40k to student loans 5k to house hack and 2k to travel fund and the exact same thing for 2024 40k to loans, 5k to house hack, 2k to travel fund, and then 2025, 45,000 to student loans, 5k to house hack, 2k to travel fund. Boom. And then oh, the little section at the bottom just for secondary secondary goals. If I have extra, I will also try my best to contribute to my Roth um, and fundraise absolutely and crypto or whatever whatever secondary investing I feel like doing I think these goals are much more realistic than even this five-year vision that I've had on my wall for a couple years now which I still love and I still I will draw a similar one I'll try to write a little bit better I don't know but I mean ultimately it's all the same right like my goals in the middle and the whole point of doing all this is to not only be debt free but also have time freedom and of course, like, rescue all the animals in the world. <sighs> Life purpose, right? I would love that. <laughs> but that's what it's all about. Time freedom, debt freedom, financial independence. Yes. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You guys, the support is amazing. Thank you so much. And I, as soon as I get a new vision board drawn, I will, of course, share that with you guys and get it on the wall behind me because you got to keep your goals in focus. So far, the real estate investing journey has been a little bit bumpy, but I did recently make a fun video all about the financials behind that investment property that I now have. If you guys want to check that out, you can check out this video right here. And of course, happy financing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.